NZQA is the New Zealand Qualifications Authority and we are responsible for uh, a range of things and I think we're one of those discreet little organisations that people don't even know the impact it's had on their lives. We do two key things, we run NCEA exams, um, so everybody coming through secondary schools um, participating in that, and the other part of us is the regulator for the non-university tertiary sector and the quality regulator. Uh, my role at NZQA is as manager of the service delivery team in the quality assurance division. So in our team we look after um, things such as the code of pastoral care that providers um, comply with. We do a lot of interface work between tertiary education organisations and the different quality assurance teams uh, within the quality assurance division. And we deal with a lot of business improvement and um, systems changes and lead off on those. So anybody that's got a qualification in New Zealand, whether it's from school or from a tertiary organisation, that's all part of the New Zealand Qualifications Framework. And we quality assure those to make sure that there's integrity in the qualifications New Zealanders receive. So we had a system that was based on a very old platform. Uh, it had a whole lot of steps and constraints in it that really prevented us being um, a lot more agile and dynamic and was really holding us back from our business improvement needs. So we, after we got a, um, a good grip on our business and got control of our business and standardised how we were doing things, we then looked at what's a simple system that can support us. Uh, my name is Luke Grang. I'm a project manager at NZQA in uh, Information Services, um, and I was the project manager for the QRS uh, Spring project. So the the challenges that QRS faced were in that the the system that was currently there, you couldn't really make any changes to it. They'd also just gone through a review of the product offerings that they had and so they knew there was changes that they wanted to make um, and that they weren't able to do that with the with the current system. So it meant that it was quite stale and, and static and probably hadn't kept up with the processes that, um, that were in place. At a high level the process for QRS is someone will um, jump on the portal and they'll uh, make an application for um, generally uh, international qualification assessment People make the application on the portal, they include information about their identity and, and other um, documentation that we require. Uh, and then that qualification is assessed by an evaluator. Previously what was happening is there was a spreadsheet that was being maintained of what we call quarks, which I believe are quality assured recognised qualifications. Uh, and people were mapping things against spreadsheets and then putting them into specific baskets in the old system. So a really cool feature of the new system is that we now have uh, the system in the backgrounds looking at the applications, match them against these quark records that we've loaded into the system and then putting them into baskets of either a full match, a partial match or a no match and it enables it to go into queues of um, the appropriate evaluators to review those applications straight away without someone else having to do all that manual matching and, and, and work that they were having to do. Um, so that's, that's I think, a, a big win for, for Curious. At NZQA we're using Microsoft Office 365. Yeah, for Curious we're using Microsoft Dynamics now. Um, that's tied in with SharePoint a bit, which we weren't really using too much of outside of OneDrive. Uh, and then that's tied into a customer portal um, which, which is really good, and then for some of the some of the automated functions, we're using Power Automate. Overall, the team's happy with what's produced. Uh, I think whenever you reduce people's manual processes, uh, they're happy. Um, I think also having something now that, um, as we've already said, is evergreen, so it's, it's maintained, kept up to date, and also you know has the ability to continue continue to evolve with them and their and their business processes. Um, yeah, they're definitely happy about that. I, th I think when, when you're looking for a partner, you know, to, to do work with, you want someone that's going to listen to you, that uh, that takes feedback on board and, uh, and kind of just 
get to you a wee bit and adjust to you in a, in a good way, you know. And I think that's what we found in magnetism. Since we put in the QRS system, we've also we've been using D365 for other workflow that we've introduced in NZQA. So we're now looking at how the QRS minimum viable product um, can benefit from those other workflows and um, the same both ways. So now we, we've sort of got what I think of in a non-technical way as this sort of family of workflows that we're thinking about holistically and that really aligns with the fact that the organisation is wanting to really up its game with business intelligence and being more effective with how we use our administrative data. So it's that real evolution. One of the, the things I think has been really useful in this journey is that we have um, engaged with a good vendor um, in magnetism and we've learned from experience that it's, it's not just looking for a provider that will build you the machine. To us as a small organisation that um, had very limited experience in introducing new systems, we needed to find a provider that we could work with effectively. So the proof of concept we did as part of the procurement process tested the vendor and how we'd work together as much as the technology. One of the things that impressed me the most was the ability to have free and frank conversations. Um, it's been great and I like the fact that we have grown through this together and we've learned a lot. I think you guys have learned a lot and we are going from strength to strength um, with this. So I'm thrilled, Ex expectations exceeded.